The two causes for the war among mothers, the real reason men just don't understand women, and a design expert turns fashion trends into home decor. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. I am Rachel Kay. And I'm Michelle Yarn. You know the summertime, lots of concert tours coming through. We're going to run down some of the most anticipated summer concerts. Sounds good. Yeah. And when you're a teen, you know money ma matters to you a lot. It helps you go out and hang out with your friends. Yep. We're going to show you this really cool new program that's helping teens, you know, learn about money and make it really matter. How to manage it. Exactly. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, our self-perceptions are oftentimes mm -hmm. harsh and unbecoming when that's not how the world actually sees us. And it took an FBI specialist to really help women see themselves in a better light. Dove and a company from Brazil hired a forensics artist to interview and draw seven different women. The first sketch was based on each woman's personal description of herself. The second sketch was based on a description from a stranger. And of course, the differences are so vast. Watch the powerful reaction as one woman comes face to face with her two versions. Just looks kind of shut down. Sadder too. The second one is more beautiful. You think they're catching more of that from you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She looks more open and um, friendly and... happy. So empowering. It almost amazing. brings you to tears, yeah. what this is, campaign is doing. Just really teaching women to appreciate their inner beauty and it's taken over it's all over the internet even guys are watching this and sending it to their girlfriends and their girls that are friends just saying hey have you seen this yeah you need to see this and my one of my girlfriends is a teacher she's going to show it to her class and just teach women and boys about that self-image and it's you could crazy. even do that as an yeah. exercise with it's funny too like we've interviewed people who do like the boudoir photography for mm -hmm. instance and she even said a lot of times a woman will come in and do it because she thinks it might be fun and then when she shows them the results they cry because they can't believe wow this is how I look so it's amazing and it definitely yes. makes you think it does lot, we've sure. got the whole video on our website lifeloveshopping.com if you want to watch the whole video it's yeah. worth it all right well the thought that men and women can't relate to each other is a common cliche but get ready because there is now scientific evidence explaining why men just don't understand <laughs> women it's a German study and it showed men images of 36 pairs of eyes half of them belong to men half belong to women they asked the guys to choose which emotion emotions the person was feeling turns out it was twice as difficult for the men to guess what the women were feeling than it was for them to guess what the men were feeling they also took longer interpreting the women's eyes now the researchers explain perhaps mother nature made it more important for men to understand other men versus understand the women. women so the next time you're upset you may need to just verbally express that to your significant other or any other male figure since they just they can't read our minds they say they it all can. the time we are not mind readers just nope. tell us so there's your proof just do it men like the directness and yeah I guess they really are from Mars and we're from Venus yeah and we've got a lot of practice <laughs> at saying oh nothing's wrong nothing's, nothing's wrong, wrong. So guys do that too though they're like we're fine yeah <laughs> communication break all the barriers there you go <laughs> a large chunk of your budget is probably devoted to food which is why we went to money talks news for help in slicing your food related expenses almost in half as much as you may enjoy eating out cut back on it since restaurant meals are typically more expensive and a little less healthy than those home cooked meals where you can control the portions. Also, buy discounted meat, poultry, and fish. What most of us do is we usually create a menu at home, then we go to the store and buy the ingredients. Well, a better way might be to plan our menus around what's on sale, so you can always check online or in the newspapers before you go to the store. Also, buy generic from flour to salt to pasta. You can save 30% or more with store brands. And shop more often. This may sound a little counterintuitive, but buying less more often can save money in the long run. So buy the freshest products, which are consumed before they go bad, reducing the food waste. Ah, a lot of good tips yes. there. Well, we are turning spring fashion trends into new home decor, of course, with the help of an HGTV design expert. Check out these tips to take your home from drab to fab.
I'm Carmen Delapaz, and if you're looking for a Mother's Day project, I've got just what you need and an inspiration that I know is going to take you a long way in fun and in creativity. And what I did is I wanted to create a serving tray for mom for breakfast in bed. So I started out with a raw tray, some very inexpensive plates, went ahead and painted the outside of the tray in orange. But notice that I have primed the whole thing first, which is what you want to do whenever you're dealing with raw wood. Then I'm using the Scotch blue painters tape to ensure that I've got those super sharp lines as well as on the mug. And if you come on over here, here's the finished product. We've got those super sharp paint stripes on the edge as well as on the plate. Beautiful, bright color, a nice presentation. Change the color and it could be for Father's Day. All this and more inspiration is waiting for you at scotchblue.com. When it comes to how you feel, it's not just what you do, it is where you do it, and there are some surprisingly bad locales for your health. Yes, Prevention Magazine shares the unhealthiest places to keep things, starting with don't cool leftovers in the fridge. Placing a big pot of hot food could lead to food poisoning, so let the food cool for an hour on the counter, which is totally safe before storing it in the fridge. And don't stand front and center during fitness class. You may want to so you can see what their instructor is doing, but your sweat sweat sessions will be more motivating if your view is obstructed. So stand in the middle toward the back for a less conscious workout. And this is surprising. Do not stash your sneakers and flip-flops in your bedroom closet. Why? Because you track dirt and germs from outside into your home. So take your shoes off at the door and maybe you can leave them there or put them in a closet right inside the door. And do not. Do not store your toothbrush on the bathroom sink. I say this all the time. All when the time. you flush that toilet, that toilet funk is propelled as far as six feet. So gross. Put a cap on it or store it in your medicine cabinet, please. <laughs> you will get up and then before you go to bed, right? If I to, forgot. If you forget. I'm like, oh crap, I didn't close the cap on my toothbrush. It's no. just, I don't know what it is. Gross. I think I've, I've been debating, but I think I'm going to do that. Do it. You'll feel good. I'll get you one. I got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not just germs hiding out in your home, but allergies too. Andrea Jackson is helping us find those spots and banish those allergies. Springtime means allergens are lurking in places most people would never dream of. And revealing secret allergen hideouts and how to deal with them is the healthy housekeeper, Laura Delutri. Laura, welcome back. It's good to be here. What are some of the secret hiding places? What's the number one spot? Number one is the shoes. 85% oh. of dirt comes in on the bottom of your shoes, dragging in all those allergens. So you want to either take your shoes off or get the six-foot uh, dirt grabber mats, like the runner mats, to knock that dirt off. And for that uh, dirt that's already in there, I recommend the shark. Sonic Duo because it cleans up to four times better than vacuuming alone. The Duo scrubbers scrub 1,000 times per minute. It works great on hard floors, cleans them better than that traditional mop and bucket in half the time. And it's also very stylish, too. It certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, what else? Okay, we, when you go outside, you come in uh, allergens in your hair, on your clothing, take a shower, wash your hair, and flush out your nasal passages. And I recommend the Ocean Saline Nasal Spray because it's number one pharmacist recommended. It's non-medicated. It's natural. They even have a version for the children and the infants that's on also natural. What about sore throats this yes. time of year? You're going to get that post-nasal drip with the allergies. I recommend stock that medicine cabinet with the chloroseptic lozenges. They have that soothing liquid center. And I the, love these. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's cooling those nasal passages. And they have the multi-symptom formula that can um, suppress that cough for up to four hours. Okay, what about allergens in the air? Uh, even on your kids' stuffed toys, a lot of people don't realize no. this is a dust mite hotel. <laughs> so you want to take it, put it in a freezer bag, stick it in the freezer overnight, and then in the morning, vacuum it up with a HEPA back. That's going to get rid of all the dead dust mite carcasses that are triggering those allergens. Okay. And also, the air we breathe, that we don't realize that 75% of the homes actually have a fuel-burning appliance or device that can uh, give off that carbon monoxide poisonous gas. Sure. And only half the homes actually have a CO alarm. So it's very important that you uh, get a worry-free uh, alarm. And I recommend the kid uh, worry-free <laughs> alarm to CO the smoke alarm because they have the sealed and lithium battery. They last 10 years. Most alarms on the market are only five. And you don't get that annoying beep, beep, beep. Oh, it drives you crazy. Chirp, chirp, chirp every five years. <laughs> Try to find out where it's coming from in yes. the house and you don't know. Yes. And 
the last thing that I recommend is getting all the high touch surfaces, like this um, uh, remote control. It is full of germs and bacteria. Oh, I didn't think about Take that. Take bacterial <laughs> wipes, get the computer keyboards, all those things. And um, I like CVS Pharmacy's new total home line. They have great value and all these products you're already shopping at CVS uh, getting your essentials. You might as well pick up the antibacterial wipes, the eraser for the smudges and all the other goodies that they have. Again that's at CVS Pharmacy. And look the way it smells too. Great yes. scent. All right Laura some great advice and checking out those allergens hiding out in our home. For more information all you need to do is head to our website. Some good stuff, ladies. Yes. Thank you. There's still more to come on Life Love Shopping. The Mommy Wars Rage On. Yes. So why are moms always judging each other's decisions? We are going to reveal the surprising real roots of the problem. Yes, plus learn how to tell the real from the fake when it comes to those designer handbags. That's coming up next. Man. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Let's have a little fashion talk, shall yes, we? Yes, we love those high-end fashion designer bags. Yep. People love to make knockoff versions. Absolutely. So how can you spot the <laughs> fake one? Morgan, you are giving us the insider tips. Yes, what ladies. Ladies, ladies, whether you're shopping secondhand or wondering if your friend's new slew of designer purses is real or not, here's how you can tell. Okay, first of all, check the inside of the bag. If the lining is plasticky, it's probably a fake. Mm -hmm. And usually mm -hmm. there's a signature stamp or logo, like the one in this Louis Vuitton, all of their bags have stamps on the inside. The next one, sweat the small stuff. I'm talking about stitching, like this Alexander Wang bag. It should be all perfectly aligned, not crooked or off. Okay. If you think about it, posh designers would never let a crooked mm -hmm. line slide on their bag, right? So that's another tip. Also, know your stuff. If you're going to go shop for vintage pieces, check the designer's website before you go bargain brand shopping. This way you won't be bamboozled by purses in the wrong shape, color, or style. Trust me. It happens. I'm a victim. This coach purse is a great example <laughs> of that, too. Uh, and this last clue for those leather purses, I hate those. Um, mm -hmm. Stroke the leather. That's how you okay, know if it's yeah. real or not. The feel gives away everything. It should be smooth as silk. It shouldn't be plasticky. It shouldn't be squeaking. And it usually has a leather smell to it. Yeah. Or that rubbery feel. Those yeah. leather yeah. bags and jacks that feel like rubber. It's but so see, gross. see, now you just gave it all away. So if one of us <laughs> is trying to get away with a knockoff now, <laughs> everybody's going That's what know. I don't get. I don't understand why people purposely purchase knockoff uh, designer I've done it. The but cost? I mean, yeah. I could get arrested for that. <laughs> why, not, right? I don't know. why not just I get know. a really great bag that's just not a label yes. and that's just a really great bag on its own instead of risking being called out by someone who knows them like the back of their <laughs> hand. And like, it would really be embarrassing. Really. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Morgan. Yes, we thanks, appreciate Morgan. it. <laughs> All right. You know those so-called mommy wars? Yes. They are raging on. You know, the battle between working mothers and stay-at-home moms. Who's made the better life choice? Right. Well, Moore Magazine teamed up with Cities Women and company and to survey women and men nationwide and figure out what really causes all this mama drama. Turns out it's not jealousy, huh. parenting style, or even our definition of success. It all comes down to money. To be more specific, it's how much we make and how safe we feel about our financial security. So if money were no object, 54% of working mothers said they would choose to stay at home instead, wow. compared with only 9% of stay-at-home moms who would choose to work. So translation, most women would stay home if they could. But the funny thing is, that sense of financial security is all relative to the person. Some of the couples who made the most money actually felt the most unstable. Now, another factor in the choice to work or stay home, the man's perception. The men surveyed here described stay-at-home moms as, quote, better mothers who are happier and have better behaved kids. Yet they said the working moms deserve more respect, work harder, and have a more exciting life. Way too confusing. Yeah. So the researchers say moms get all hung up on the men and the money. And instead of talking it out with their Which husband and figuring things out, we take it out on each other. So we'll criticize each other's situation. Like, oh, right. you get to just go to the park all day Aren't and be lazy. lazy. Or, oh, right. I'm so cool because <laughs> I have a job. It's, it's sad. I know. It's hard. It's hard to balance that 
the balance of working moms and the ones who aren't because we're gonna stop hating on each other. Well, yeah, right? because if you're a working mom and you have a kid all of a sudden and then you want to have a babysitter, it might cost more to have the babysitter than, because, just, to stay than home. just to stay home and work. Yeah, there's a so lot it's to all figure relative. out. Yeah, so just be open again, open communication. To yeah, work this and out. cheer each other on. Yeah. All right, as teens get older, the importance of money management increases, and now through hip hop and the Money Matters program, music is helping teens listen and learn. Check it out. Today is the album release party for the M4 um, Money Matters Music Mogul Contest. Well, I used a lot of information from the Money Matters program that I've learned. And um, really it was just the, the fact of actually wanting to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's not a lot of kids in our club that make music or like poetry. So I figured why not try? I, I just put my song in there to see where I'd qualify. But Never thought I'd be in this position. Never thought I'd see myself winning. The Money Matters program helps our teens learn how to budget, how to save, how to invest, how to plan for college, how to start their own businesses. And so those we find are the tools and skills that our kids need to be successful in life. Uh, the M4 program helps our teens learn these skills in a fun and engaging way by using music, which is a tool that kids already are familiar with and they really enjoy the musical aspect of uh, Money Matters. All right, don't go anywhere. There's still much more to come on Life Flow Shopping. Yeah, there are a bunch of concerts you don't want to miss this summer. We are going to share the ones to keep an eye out for after the break. More than 16,000 broadcasts of their many concert specials. They are one of PBS's top audience generating acts. And joining us to talk about their 10th full length album and mythology tour is recording group Celtic Thunder. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank 10th album. I mean, that is amazing. How do you guys feel? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. You know, it's, it's great to, to have reached the, the heights that we've came to recently. You know, Celtic Thunder's been on the go for six years. And, you know, so often we get asked how, we, how far do we think we would have come after a year or two years or whatever. You know, it's a, it's a tough game, the music business, to stay at any level. And I think to be here six years after with such achievements behind us is just a phenomenal thing. So, you know, and we're, you know, we're always very grateful to the fans of the show. And as you say, we've been shown so often on the air. We're always very grateful for the amount of uh, reception and airtime we've had as well. And I think that's partially, mostly responsible for why we're still here. And we just hope we're bringing to the fans what they want to hear. And you guys have such a unique sound. And for people who may not know a lot about Celtic music, give us a, a kind of a description of your sound and your music. Well, I guess it's, it's very much, as you say, it's, it's, it's that Celtic sound. Um, you know, th these are songs, I guess, that, that we sing songs on stage and, and uh, in our shows. They're songs that we've, we've grown up listening to. And, and, and you know, we've had, I've gotten a real affinity with the songs from the very beginning. And they're very much songs, I think, they're, you know, they're stories that we're, that we're singing through song, telling these stories through song, you know. And our, our, so our sound is, I guess, is, is a lot more than just the five of us guys you see here now. But, you know, we've got a big band behind us. Um, you know, one of the top musical directors uh, from from Scotland, actually, who, who who's with us the whole time, and he he's brought this sound out of us, you know. And it's, as you said, it's a very distinct sound that our fan base seems seem, seem to love, you know. And, and our new show is called Mythology, and we try to bring that sound even bigger. And I think we we, we have succeeded in doing that. We're, we're very proud of this, the sound we have now in Mythology, and we cannot wait to take it on the road. So tell us, when does the tour start? Where can we find you guys? Fill us all in. The tour starts in, in early September, Michelle, and it, it goes pretty much nationwide and right through Canada as well. I think it's the biggest tour we've ever done this year. And um, as Ryan said, with, with this new show, Mythology, it's just so exciting to, to finally bring these songs um, all around the country. And, you know, we really think it's the best show we've, we've ever put on, you know. And based on, I suppose, the reviews so far, it's just been such an amazing response. So the live show is going to be... Just a completely different experience than sitting at home watching it on TV, you know, and you can bring the whole family along. It's going to be a fantastic night of, of music and dance and a, an Irish experience with us guys for the night. So it's going to be a fantastic tour and we just can't wait. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Congrats on all of your success. And for more information, just head to our website. It's lifeloveshopping.com.
sexy men and sexy accents. Yep. Sign me up. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, nothing screams summer like a concert. And here are some of the most anticipated and talked about tours happening in just a couple months. All right, jam it out. Mumford and Sons are hitting the road with their Summer Stampede Tour that will kick off in May. And it's in Calgary, Canada, May 21st. They'll travel the country, make stops in California, Arizona, Texas, and more before ending in Kansas. And another big name hitting the road, Paul McCartney. He'll be touring on several stages this spring and summer, including stops in Orlando, Austin, Memphis, Tulsa, Boston, D.C., and Seattle. Now, there's another one I'm definitely looking forward to. He's been kind of MIA the last few okay. years. Come on, everybody oh, knows yeah. that riff, right? Oh, John Mayer yeah. going back on tour. He is with American Idol's Philip Phillips starting this week in Tuscaloosa. They will hit 39 cities together. And then Mayer will also be in a few festivals on his own this summer, including the amazing New Orleans Jazz Fest, which we've both been to. It's right. fabulous. And country fans, you can look forward to catching Brad Paisley on tour with Chris Young and Lee Bryce from May through the end of August. He, too, will be hitting up some music festivals along the way. And some other big names to look out for this summer include Macklemore, the Jonas Brothers, Kelly Clarkson, Little Wayne, 311, the Rolling Stones, and Kid Rock. And check out this, what Kid Rock is doing okay. on his Best Night Ever tour. He's selling tickets for 20 bucks. What? $4 beers, $20 t-shirts. There's even free coffee at the end of the show, you know, to sober up maybe. Some free Jimmy John subs in certain markets. And he's awesome. So that's because he's putting up some of the money so yes. that it doesn't come down to us. Yes. So we can actually maybe afford a concert You can afford summer. and awesome. enjoy. Awesome. I am all for it. Sounds good. And don't forget John Mayer. We're going We're together. Going. <laughs> we'll see you there.